Poltergeist, a supernatural entity so powerful it can cause physical disturbances to either objects or sometimes people. Considered to be the most rare of paranormal activity, and by some seeking them out, a trophy. Yet tonight, it sought us out as its trophy. So we are at the SK Haunted Victorian Mansion, 6,666 square feet. Everything in the house is original. I saw something run across the floor upstairs Saturday night. No, but the uh, fact that it was that strong to fool you that. It pulled me like... This is the first place I've ever seen holy water on tap. Josh was here. You had to spray him down? Oh god, yeah. After what happened down in the basement, we... Wait, what was he screaming? Down with Josh? A man walked out of that wall and stood there with his arms up like this. Hmm. Then we were all like, holy crap. And then he just disappeared into the wall. What the heck is that? What is that? We don't know. He took like a selfie. It looks like it's like a horn. And one day he saw an apparition come right up out of the floor. Oh. The same day he saw a floating head. And this is what he saw come up out of the floor. This is so cool on my end right now. No, this is r ridiculous to watch. Try it one more time. Leave him alone. Let him get it on. There you go. Can we talk to Hope he's down here. Let him get yeah, it on. not working. I'm just coming in, but I'm going back out. But it's really cool that you play with us. Do you feel like with power you can take advantage of people? Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at SK Pierce Mansion, Poltergeist in the Basement. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel that is dedicated to all things paranormal and haunted, historical, mysterious, extraterrestrial, unknown, whatever it might be. Every week, we have a brand new episode for you. If you missed our last episode, it was at the infamous Lizzie Borden murder house. Woo it was amazing. That, was crazy. that makes me shiver. So we drove all the way from Massachusetts to Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes. A different part of Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. We had a short drive last night. Yep. So we made it all the way to Gardner, Massachusetts, and we are at the SK Haunted Victorian Mansion. Highly recommended by our friend Josh, aka Exploring with Josh. Hey, Josh. Josh. Tonight's gonna be fun. So one thing, Marion, who has managed this property for the last 10 years, is gonna be here with us. So she knows everything there is to possibly know about the place. She'll be giving us a tour. Marion Mosby? The one thing I do know about this place is that it is 6,666 square feet. No, no way. way. That is, there's no <laughs> way. Was that on purpose when they how, were how much, how much? How much do you believe that's wrong? How much do you believe that's wrong? Uh, it's a six. You want to bet $6,666? I'll bet you a dollar per square foot. 6,666. Yep. That's a lot of pennies. That's one more six than 666. Shake his hand. Wait, how what are we betting? Six thousand six hundred and sixty-six dollars. Oh no, 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 no,
Hello! Next year. Next year. That's actually really cool. It is an EVP. It says, come and find me. No way. That is very, very cool. That's such a cool design for sure. Oh. I did way of the what? Dude, look at this wall oh, again. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's like Everybody velvet. Everybody feels the wallpaper. Yeah. yeah. Feel this. Feel this. I'm Melted. It. No way. Dude. Wait, whoa. That is amazing. This is the type of wall you want to rub your back on. Well, welcome, you guys. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. This Thank is the you. SK Pierce Mansion. Mr. Sylvester Knowlton Pierce built in 1875 for his the love of his life, his first wife, Susan. He owned the furniture factory across the street over here. He started working there when he was a teenager and he worked his way up to buying it. He was a multimillionaire in the 1800s. Mm. Um, he bought it for his wife, like I told you. She died two weeks after it was done, so she no didn't way. get to enjoy it. Wow. It took him two years to build it. She died upstairs in the red room. I don't know if you guys have no, red room? seen it on pictures. Yeah, the, not red room, but, but yes. Yeah, well, there's yep. red room yep. and then there's Hollywood Hill House red room. She was young. She was like in her 40s when she died, maybe 50s, early 50s. Man. And they had one son, Frank. And then he waited the mourning period and he married again. He married Ellen Pierce, oh. who was the same age as Frank. So that mm. didn't go over very well. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then they had two kids. They had Stuart and Edward. Interesting. That seems yeah. to happen a lot nowadays. Too. Yeah, yeah. In the late 1880s, Sylvester Pierce, a wealthy businessman who earned his fortunes as the owner of the SK Pierce and Sons Furniture Company, decided to construct a monumental home to present his stature to all of those around him. Thus, the 7,000 square foot, 10 bedroom mansion was born. The home was meticulously crafted by over 100 men for 18 months, with nearly every detail being hand carved, resulting in a guest list like no other, including the likes of President Coolidge, P.T. Barnum, Norman Rockwell, and most notoriously, a gathering for the Freemason Society. In 1888, Pierce passed away and only a few months later, so did his wife. The home was then left to their children, who struggled to maintain the home as well as the massive wealth they inherited. Eventually, the home became a place of drinking, gambling, and prostitution. And so the seed of hauntings was planted, as each day of darkness there gave it light to grow. Murder from strangling, another being burned in a bedroom, and even children drowning in the basement are only a few of the deadly events from the home. Many believe the ghosts of Susan and Edward Pierce themselves haunt the building. Guests of the mansion have experienced everything from voices, chanting, moving furniture, windows and doors slamming, footsteps, temperature changes, foul odors, shadow people, and physical disturbances. With a recent guest saying she felt as though someone, or something, was trying to push her down the stairs. Paranormal experts that have spent incredible amounts of time in the home believe the entities of the SK mansion have learned to harness the energy that is brought to them, and use it in ways most well known as poltergeist. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. She found bones downstairs in the basement. Um, some of them are up here. She found in the kiln downstairs, I'll show you guys in a while. Uh, back in the day, you know, the girl, the woman had the high collar dress um, shirts. Yeah, yeah. That's what this is right here. There's pieces of bones. There's a garter. For when they had the stockings on, they had the garters. Wow. So she, and then there was a huge pelvic bone that she found. And she gave it to her husband, Edwin. He gave it to, went to the doctors, and the guy says it's a 16 year old's pelvic bone. What? So, what? yeah. Just a missing pelvic bone. So person. now it's, actually, now it's missing. Oh. We can't find it no because way. ghost hunters came in here. No took it and said they were going to send it to a lab, see, and we never got it back. Well, they took it without your permission? No, they took it with their permission, but we were expecting to get it back. And they never sent it. We never got it back. So it's been gone. So you got their names then. If we do have their names, but whatever, if they want it, whatever, you know. Wow. You're okay with so, the stealing bones? No, we're not. It's not my bone. It was theirs, so. Can you I mean, put this couch in the car? Yeah. Oh, sure, that's, I'm sure that's very uncomfortable. You can take it. <laughs> there was okay. a skeleton <laughs> sitting in this chair, and huh? Ken, who did the. House over. Wrote this song for me for the skeleton. I can't <laughs> read. Right. I can't read it either. Play that song. E G B. Okay, you can read. It. And it's like. Oh. Okay. No. I'm pretty sure that's not it. <laughs> 
to the test. This is something completely different than you have ever played before. It's not just another board game or another card game or even a video game. It is a fully immersive experience that actually gives you real life props that you can go through. Put you right in the midst of everything and keep your brain juices flowing until you can figure out who committed the crime. It is essentially an escape room that is brought right into your house and every single box comes with a completely new set of props keeping you on your toes every single time, month over month. And there is now over 100,000 active subscribers to Hunt a Killer, an entire community online that is waiting for you to join. So please make sure to head over to huntakiller.com slash overnight and use code overnight to 20% off. Again, it's huntakiller.com slash overnight, 20% off with the code overnight and see if you have what it takes to hunt a killer. And enjoy the rest of the video, everyone, because I'm pretty sure something in the house tonight is actually trying to hunt me. Just to let you know, everything in the house is original. All the woodwork that you see, all the hinges, wow. all the window hinges, the fireplaces, they're all coal operated. There's only four of them in the house. Those are all original. Jeez. The medallions that you see up here on the ceilings are original. All of this stuff in the hallways. Everything original to the 1800s. Nothing has been touched. The only thing they did when they did the house over was wash it in polyurethane. Wow. wow. No way. So, That's amazing. It was a Freemason's house. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see a lot of symbols like when you guys came in the door. I don't know if you saw the doorknobs and stuff and the little latch. It like has lion heads and stuff on it. Really? We'll see them upstairs also. This is Mr. Pierce right here. And this is his second wife, Ellen, who is my favorite spirit in the house. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think, well, I mean, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, yeah of course. Of course. We call this like the artifact room. A lot of the stuff we found in the walls while he was redoing the house. Men's clothing, women's clothing. What? So, yeah. Oh, so like yeah. in the walls? In the walls. A handle for like a sink? Nope, that's just an old, no, this stuff over here. Oh. That's oh. just stuff like mm. an original oh, okay. to the house I'm and to stuff. Put that in the wall. Then. No, like we found the bell downstairs and the cistern. No way. No way. Jeez. Yeah, a lot of stuff was found in the walls. You think, you think that because there's items that have been here for so long, it makes it more active? I do. I, I've, well, I've been here 10 years and it's been active since I've been here. So. What's the pinnacle? What's like the craziest thing you've had happen? Um, well, the other day I, I saw something run across the floor upstairs Saturday night. Oh, I couldn't even. Just a couple days ago. I, my friend Kalen was in the kitchen. I was like, what the was that? <laughs> <laughs> Has okay, anything ever happened that bore, like made you Consider not working here. Anymore. Yeah, the first time I met me, me and Ken, um, it's probably about eight years ago. They're the ones that just redid the house. Yeah, I met them that night, and they went. It was a full blood moon that night, Halloween. We were having a fundraiser. I'm downstairs showing them the house. They'd never been here, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is where somebody must have slept next to the heater downstairs." I'll show you. And all of a sudden, something grabbed my jacket and pulled me backwards. And I came forward and I lunged into Mimi's arms and I was like, what the hell is that? And I was shaking and her husband came from behind me and said, your whole jacket just got pulled. Wow. Yeah. Bro, I just to him last night. No, he said, like, mm -hmm. see, why is it happening? And then you, you said, said you saw something? In the basement. In the basement, like right below where he's standing, like right there. I kept feeling small tugs on my hoodie. No, but the not. fact that it was Literally, that strong it, to pull you it back. It pulled me like, what? And my jacket went back and my foot went off the floor and I went flying into Mimi's That house. hard? That hard. You're gonna have some fun with it. And then I had to keep going down there because I was doing tours that night. Oh, oh perfect. Oh, so, oh at perfect. That point, at that point you're yeah. like, you know what, maybe I'm just kind of over this place. I don't maybe need to not. be here. Anymore. Yeah, then we sold it and I ended up getting the key back and whatever, I'm still here. Wow. So, that's the uh, main entrance. Oh, okay. That actually overlooks his 
his um, factory, okay. okay? And underneath that main entrance is the tunnel that goes from here, no way. under the road, across the street to his factory. <laughs> it's blocked up. Oh, it. that sounds this, so cool. I know, the street, the town blocked it when we put town oh, sewerage and water in. We can always like, take it out. No, I've been in it, I think you yeah. can, but. The town doesn't have to know. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> main staircase, actually we have a picture of a little girl running around here, Rachel. You have a picture of it? A picture. I do have a picture of it. Yeah, let me show you. What? See this picture right here? No way. See her, see her right here? Her oh, hair? Wow. Her oh, hand wow. is actually in motion. That's plain as day right oh, yep. Oh my gosh. And then right here, there's somebody standing on the staircase. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that if you is... look closely at the newel pole, you can see Mr. Pierce's face. Oh, I see it. I true. see it. All three, three in, in one, one picture. picture. Ken was leaving one night. He goes, okay, bye everybody. He took a picture and that's what he got. So we gotta take a bunch of pictures here. And then we have the little boy on the top of the landing. See him right here? Oh yeah. Wow. And then this is Mark Avella and his friend, and they were standing right there Sorry. taking a selfie. That's and what the heck wires. is that? What is that? We don't know. He took like a selfie. A, it looks like it's like a horn. Yeah. It does. It's something it like does. that. With like a horn, but you can't see the other but one. But it was walking that way behind them, because they were standing right there. Wow. It's the little girl, it's Rachel. You can't see her here. Yeah, why can't you see her on the But you can one? see her here. See the top of her head? Wow. And this is Rachel Two right here. Pictures. Wow. She's right there in the corner and they blew it up. Oh, oh my wait, wait, gosh. Wait, look at this one right here. That's her and then they blew that it up. That one's bizarre. Oh, and then they got no. her right there with Gordon. I've never seen anything like this at any of the places we've been to. Whoa, I'm gonna this is just that. some of what we got. The last one was West Virginia Penn where they oh, had wow. a really good It's crazy, picture. right? Um, I can understand why this So this make sure you guys gone, take please. pictures as you, even if you're going around now, take Definitely. pictures. Yeah, yeah, please. Sure. And yeah. Then, um, we should bring a Polaroid camera from now on. Yes, oh, it's a great that idea. It's a genius idea. Yeah, we should. What about, uh, have you captured anything on these security cameras? Yeah, the owners I have actually captured stuff on there. They're the only ones that are attached to that. We okay. don't see it, so. Wow. Yep. Do you I had to spray Josh, Josh down. A month? Josh was here. You had to spray him down? Oh, God, yeah. After what happened down in the basement, we... Wait, what was happened he screaming? in the basement with Josh? We all screamed. <laughs> Hey, Josh, Josh, you don't, need to, you don't need to find out if I, if you watch our video, because obviously they don't watch us. We're probably going to need to take a shower and holy water a little probably. later. Yeah. Probably. Anyway. I have to recap. You afraid you're going to get thrown over? No, we just like to keep our bearings. Yeah, we're just being safe. Just being safe. Good job, guys. Thank you. Good work. This is the red room. This wow. is Ellen and Susan's room. This is the room that they both passed away in. Oh, wow. Was yes. it just from them getting sick? She, well, Susan died from strep throat. Oh, wow. Back in the 1800s. Well, they didn't I have didn't penicillin. Die from that. Oh, no strep. penicillin, so she was, yeah, she was infected. And, and then Ellen died from cancer. Oh, wow. But they were both in this room. And sometimes you'll hear, like, moaning or crying. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, that's, this is the coolest chair I've ever seen. I know. That's the one I thought you were going to take. That is I mean, I mean, I mean honestly, I think it's very gothic for the house. I, mean, I think. Everybody likes the other picture. No, you can't have that. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> That's the first piece of furniture. It sounds weird. Where, where did this? Yeah. Wait, this yeah. came with the house? You no, have to see this. With the new owners. I feel like where are the homes guys? I don't know if it's got. It looks pretty good though. Like, there's no way this works, right? right? Like, like, it does work. I'll start spoiling. Whoa. You can look at the fan. It sounds so right. weird. This looks like it's gonna attract. Guys, oh, like, check this out. Oh, oh. She's doing it. Check this out. That's sick. Do this time. That's really neat. Dude, this yeah. is a gnarly sick. You know, right? Look how thick it is. That is so cool. It's heavy. That is really cool. And it's copyright free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been over a hundred years. Yep. Mm -hmm. Copyright free. I was up here, well, I don't know if you guys know Jeff Belanger. He works with Ghost Hunt, Ghost Adventures. He's their um, history person to get all the stuff together. Mm. He was here one time and he had his table set up here and he had the connects, the stick figure thing. Mm -hmm. You guys are listening, yeah. Yeah, facing this way. And that was a wall at the time and a man walked out of that wall and stood there with his arms up like this. Hmm. And we were all like, holy crap. And then he just disappeared into the wall. Hmm. And then when we were redoing the house, they found he was like digging around the chair real here. 
and you saw there was an opening, and he kept opening it up, and there was a doorway there. Huh. What? So I know it's it's actually the original office for Mr. Pierce. Wow. So we had an extra door upstairs on the third floor, and he said, "We'll see if it fits," and it fits. Wow. So the woodworking guy I was telling you about, he built this. Wow. To match everything else, all the original woodwork. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, he's really, really. Good. He's really good. Yeah, whoever that person is. Amazing, too. right? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing work. If you sit like on the chairs, and you can talk to Alan. You might pick some stuff up. I was actually laying there last week and like all relaxed and she, we got a picture of her like here. Well, it was like really? a mist. Really? Yeah. Last week? Yeah. It was like a mist. Really? This is Eno Cyrus' room. We burnt to death in 1963. Burnt to death. They say it was spontaneous combustion, but it wasn't. What? He liked alcohol and he liked smoke. There's some trigger objects right there for you guys to use if you want. Uh -huh. And Kaylin actually bought him a shot glass today, so wow. that's his death certificate right behind Elton. Yeah. Yeah, that's his death certificate. Oh, wow. Not the Elton's, but the previous owner, um, he works for Blue Cross, and he worked, his office was in the nursery, mm -hmm. and one day he saw an apparition come right up out of the floor. Oh. The same day he saw a floating head, and this is what he saw come up out of the floor. So I know, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. And when he saw this come up on the floor, he freaked out so much he ran, a, went across the street to get a pizza or something. A guy had just died over there. Not even ten minutes before, they took him up into the ambulance, and he looked like this. No. Yeah. What? That was my phone. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought you were like had like a no. so activated picture no, frame no, you can no, tap no, on. No, 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 but these are also Eno's. The guy that died in this room, he made these actually for his niece. This is that old press copper. Yeah. yeah. So, that's very cool. Yeah. How yeah. long ago was that? When 19, he died? 1963. April 9th, 1963. Wow. So it didn't yeah. come up out of the floor and then he took a sketchbook out and just like... He was freaking out. He yeah. lost like 30 pounds. Just That's the first time he saw anything. Wow. And, um, yeah. So he lost 30 pounds? He, he lost 30 pounds. Like freaking that. out from he that? Was freaking out from that. And seeing a floating head. I've seen Whoa. the floating head, but not the same day. The floating head? I saw a floating head. It was like a... It was like a... Like a bubble. Child bubble. Yeah. Below it, it's clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was about the size of a soccer ball. And I was downstairs where the door where you guys came in. Yeah. And there's a camera set up at the main staircase and it literally floated by, turned and looked at me, and it had Mr. Pierce's face. And then it went into the ladies' parlor where all the artifacts are. Yeah. And I called the people that were up here, I'm like, you gotta get down here. And they came yeah. down and they went in there. And then it came back out and it looked back at me in the hallway, but it was like pulsating. And it shot into the kitchen. What? It's freaking crazy. You saw like an I saw it. I saw it literally floating. Head. That's like the holiday. And that's what he saw, a floating head. Wow. That's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. That right there is a piece of burnt wood that a uh, roofers gave us. Um, he gave it to me as a souvenir, and um, I don't want it, so I gave it to the owner. He brought it home. It was in his black suburban that he has, and um, he left it in the back seat, went upstairs. They live in New Jersey. And he went back downstairs to go to work, and every door in his suburban was open latch, the doors, the windows, the hood, wow. everything was open. So we took it to the framers and said, keep it until I'm ready for it. Yeah. Wow. So I'm, like, I'm glad I didn't bring it home. Wow. And in here, actually this is, I told you guys it was Freemason's house. A yeah. lot of famous people came here. P.T. Barnett from Barnum and Bailey Circus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bailey used to come here all the time. Um, he was friends with one of the owners, Jay Stemmerman, and we have an original artifact from the circus. Oh, it's you the have Fiji. the suits. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 we have the Fiji mermaid. There's only three of them. Only three. And that's one of the originals. Sweet. What? The crazy? Yeah, the we, real, the we, freak show, like the bearded lady and yeah, the, the yeah. snake man. And that was one of the freaky things. We came here for ghosts, but now I'm more interested. That was the last thing I expected to be in here. Wait, wait a second. So what? It's called a Fiji mermaid. So that's a, that's a monkey skull. It's a, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's real hair. But it's it's just something that they made like for the freak show. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, so that was, never a, living, that was never a living creature. I think so. Okay, I, I, I think I they said not. back in the day that it's like you would come to see if like a mermaid. Yeah. And they actually took like a, a monkey Got skull. Kind of like the fun like, house. Exactly. When you guys would go to the fun house and you would see yeah. the snake pit and you would see all this other stuff. Well, they had that there. Um, but only three of them were made. Why is this kept in the closet here? Because too many people will touch it. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait to put it into like a plexiglass yeah. something. Um, 
I will tell you, I am very glad that you showed us this rather than us could being in the morning. It has oh, happened. Man. People screamed and they're like, shoot, they made it in there before I could get there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. this is Mr. Pierce's room. He had the only fireplace on the second floor. Only He's fireplace? The only one with heat. He, wow. His wife didn't even have heat. Yeah. So, when he. I bet you his wife was hot, though. I bet you when you saw her, she said, oh, she's hot. She's hot. She didn't need the heat. She didn't. She didn't. He, when he wanted her, he just come on over and that's exactly right. it. But over here, he's actually, um, that's his factory across the street right there. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, wow. so the tunnel went across underneath the stairway right here. Huh. So. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very cool. He didn't but he could watch his factory. He wouldn't want to deal with anybody on the streets. When I tell you what was upstairs, you'll understand why he had to have the top. Mm. Okay? Okay. So. Upstairs. Oh. Cool. Yeah. You know what I'm speaking to a bit? Yes. If you go downstairs into the kitchen um, no where the refrigerator is, there's another tube. No, there's not. You can not. speak in. Yeah, you can Has speak into it. Have you seen Hill House? Haunting of Hill House? They were here. What do you mean they, they were here? They filmed here. What? What? Yeah. Is that what it is? Ago. Wait, that's why it's all so familiar to me? That's why it's Red Room? They had um, a contest and two people won and they got to bring a guest. Oh, that's Probably awesome. three years ago. And they filmed the guests here. They had to binge watch Hill House downstairs in the the blue fuzzy room. This is remarkably similar to Hill House. It's the mm -hmm. only time I've ever been. Wait, is that the bent neck lady? Yes. yes. No they way. Had, they had a red room. They actually had they, a red yeah, room. They had the well, we had all the statues and everything here. We had all the props came and the big, huge moving truck. They set oh, everything up in this cool. house. I could not imagine and watching. It was that crazy. Here. Well, this is this is the, actually the nursery. This is where, of course, the nanny would have been in there and she would have come through here. This is where Edwin had his desk and he saw the float. That person came right up on the floor right here. A floating? No, the, the apparition, remember I told you, this yeah. is where his desk was. And it, right here is where the apparition came up on the floor. Ooh. And his floating head was right there. Oh my gosh, I don't know what. And if you, I'm anybody doing. back in the day, you had a sink in your room. And because it's a nursery, there's a sink in the room. Wait, so we're going to another room? No, you're already in here. This is Maddie's room. Oh, okay, okay. So, but we're so, going to the third floor where the air conditioning is. Oh, uh, there's air conditioning on the third yes. floor? This is the dumb waiter. Remember I showed you the dumb waiter downstairs? Oh, no way. This is where it would have come up. Oh, uh, that's really cool. Right? I have a I story about this worked. dumb waiter that I think you guys might like. My nephew used to live across the street. He's like 36 now. Um, and him and a bunch of the kids broke in like back in like early 2000. They broke into the basement. They were in playing hide and seek. And he was hiding in here. And he heard the girl downstairs like seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. And he opened the door and he watched the little girl run up the stairs to go get anybody else. Yeah. And he's like, oh my god, I got a good spot. And all of a sudden, he grabbed his shoulders and pushed him out the closet. This one right here. He was so he was like seven at the time. Yeah. And he ran downstairs into the basement, and climbed out the window that he they climbed in instead of going out the front door. So about twenty years later. I called him, I said, I got ghosts, I'm just coming here, they want to talk to you. He goes, I'll never go in the house. So Trevor Kahn, I got ghost adventures, ghost hunters, paranormal witness, all these people want to talk to him and he refused to come in this house. But he went to Iraq and three times and got shot and he still won't come into this house. Jeez. Wow. Wow. It's, it's out of him. Wow. wow. Do you keep any more of those creatures in the closets? Um, there is, yeah, in that closet there is, um, it's a clown thing. No There's way. There's a clown in there? It's a clown thing for Halloween. Oh. Oh, oh my yeah. god, yeah it is. That one is way yeah. uglier than the other yeah, one. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. This one's pretty ugly, yeah. yeah but clown. there is a jack-in-the-box clown thing right there that we could put up for Halloween. You're gonna sit on it? <laughs> you gonna sit oh, on it? Oh, Elton would love that. He sits on a lot of stuff. He sits on everything. Uh, that's ugly. Yeah. They don't want to see that. I think the bed needs to move over. Oh, you're probably right. I don't want to show That's too nice. Oh, it's so nice up here. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, this is really nice. I know. This is the whole servant's floor. The whole floor is servants. Wow, wow. This is where they would have stayed. I think you typically never let your servants live above you. Um, I don't know. Oh. He did. But this whole floor is a servant's floor. This is actually where we were sitting near the chair I was sitting in last Saturday, and something ran across the floor right here. Oh. This wow. is one of the most haunted floors in the house. You have to come up here. Today. Really? Why so? Seriously. What makes you say that? There's something. Most there? of the activity is up here because of that room there. I'm, I'm assuming. Um, the dark room. No, this is the billiards room. Oh, billiards room. This is where the pool table was. This is where we would invite all his elite friends. Mr. Pierce had his pool table up here. His poker cards. All of his elite famous friends 
P.T. Barnum, uh, Minnesota Fats, Norman Rockwell, Cal Coolidge, yeah. when he was Senator Betty Davis, they were all Freemasons, and they would all come up here, play pool, probably have poker and stuff like that. But they also did some not so very nice things to women up here, um, hence the tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, what do you mean hence the tunnel? Back and forth, they can bring women in. Probably about five or six years, probably seven years ago, when we were downstairs table tipping by the safe, about six of us doing it. You guys know what table tipping is, right? It's like you know, lots. We've actually laid table. Okay, is that something that we're able to do tonight? Um, no, probably not. It is not. Um, We've only done it, or tried to do it once, and it yeah. was three and a half years ago in Australia. That was the only time we were We don't think we were anyway. It, it, the only, but this is the previous ones that we did it with. Oh, okay. But, table um, table. but the table kept slamming into L and C downstairs. It kept slamming and slamming. We had to get off the table. Like, what the heck? Whoa. So we walked around the safe and we're looking, and down behind the safe is just like this. We found a skeleton key behind the safe wedged into the wood. Whoa. So we took the skeleton key out and we got back on the table, six of us, and we're like, what's it go? And we tapped out nine. Mm -hmm. And I kept counting nine. What does that mean? So we took the key, there's 72 doors in this house. We tried every door and the only one that fit was this door right here. Well, there's 72 doors in this house? Oh. Including the closets, but it only no fit way. room nine. Room number nine. And all I kept typing on was nine. What? And you found the key? We found the key. Wow. That yeah. night, nine. That day, yeah. Oh boy. And then we found, um, they kept telling us to come up here and, and Lily and all this stuff was a treasure up here in the previous owner. But this closet right here, a lot of psychics that, I mean a lot, every psychic that comes in here, mm -hmm. picks up some not so nice stuff. Mm -hmm. nice stuff in this room. Jeez. Um, it's big enough to put a bed in. And these are original hooks as well? These are original hooks, yeah. Um, a lot of psychics, every one of them. Picks it up, they, they will stand there like, I cannot come in there, I cannot come in there. Oh. Why can't they go in there? Because rape, it does smell molestation, yeah. incest. Horrible stuff what? happened in there. I'm not kidding you. In this closet? In this closet. One of the psychics got a mattress on the floor um, where a woman gave birth and had to go right back to work. It's just some nasty stuff happened so up they here. they use the tunnel to bring the women all the way up to this here? This is what we're told. Into the servants area yeah. where no one's allowed to be. Where nobody's allowed to be. And then they have a closet. Mm -hmm. And the door would always lock. And that key like, only fit that door. I feel a little bit dizzy, actually. You do, right? Yeah, I'm a little I was, bit dizzy sitting in It's there. crazy. It's crazy. If you go in, this is a good place to go tonight. Mm -hmm. You go in there tonight. There's no light. What? I mean, you'll have to no. There's a light up there, but there's no. Just it's, a, it's a spiral staircase. It goes to the top of the house. We, we were just told recently that spiral staircases attract spirits. For some reason, they like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why would you think he would put one in here? He's a Freemason. He's a Freemason. Because mm -hmm. he is. Wow. And if you look at the numbers downstairs, we couldn't figure out why the numbers weren't like one, two, three. On the doors, there's numbers. Mm -hmm. They didn't go in order. They go, they go like one, two, three, four, five, six. The Freemason star. It makes no sense. Way. Star. Wow. Same with the rooms up here. Yeah. Coming yeah. out. Light. Good. Do you light. think that up here is where they get a lot of like, satanic stuff? I don't know. I don't know. It's like the spot. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this! Wow. Oh dude, they definitely did like you. This thing is awesome. This is so cool. This is so unnecessary. Can we build one at your house? I mean, yeah, it's so unnecessary. Yeah. The permits would be so difficult. But it'd be worth it. It is so it cool. When you finish it, you come up here and you're like, well now what? Yeah, no, <laughs> like, well, now you're, what? you're above everybody else. That's what. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what we, what do we do now? This is probably like where Coolidge came to like figure out his presidential campaign. Yeah, just somewhere up here where you can talk and no, no one can bother you. You know what this feels like? It reminds me of Execution Rocks. Oh yeah, so this it one does. Is tipping over. Yeah, yes. Yeah. This is like. I was gonna have you guys all lean over and I get a picture of you and I'll send it to you. Oh yeah, sure. Hey. Yeah, well, all of you. Oh. Okay, it's gonna be a flash because it's dark. Okay, guys. Okay, I want to see that picture now. What if there's like another head here? Something just came down. What is the number? Ah! Now the place of peace! Oh, you! Son of a I thought it was just him. He's I'm got all three! I got all no, three! No, he didn't get me. Yes, I, I went, I went, oh, you said it was Yeah, and I said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count unless we go, <laughs> yeah. I thought it was coming down. Yeah, look like, at that, the man. You see the whole thing? I said, oh, I said, I said something's coming yeah. down. I could be nervous. Oh, I don't know. 
Corey, look at that. When I said, oh my God, something's coming down. Or. I don't know what it is. Or uh, what? Good picture of you guys. Or, or, or. <laughs> Basement. Wait, so, you guys, yeah. is that goes under? Wait, so you, yeah. you live here? Oh, no. oh. <laughs> have you slept here many nights? Um, three nights in ten years. Three oh, nights in ten it. years? What's the longest? Oh, thing? you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Jesus. What's the longest anyone stayed here for? Like consecutively. Consecutively? Like without leaving the house. Uh, probably the Pierces. Oh, I don't know. Probably the Pierces. And in terms of paranormal investigators, how? Has anyone done a long-term no, stay? Never. No. Really? Why? I just don't. Just don't. We don't. don't can we be the first? No. Next time. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 50 right. hours in this house? Oh, yeah. Full weekend would be 72. Like, full, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, true. Okay. Is that the tunnel? Tweet me. Where you we go? That's, that's the, the wrong way. way. Yeah. The tunnel would have to be this watch, way. You no. said you watched that thing with Josh? Yes. Yeah. This is where we're standing when that big huge bang happened and we all jumped and shook the freaking house. Oh God, they said she and we were all standing here, wow. Josh. Anybody else's ears yeah. as soon as they walked down here like cough? Whoa, Not mine. look at the rocks. Remember I told you guys about the, the pelvic bone? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is where she found it. She dug it out of here. This what? is called a kiln. It was full of ashes when Lillian dug it out. What? It would be used for, there would be like a metal pan. You would fill it up with fire. Then there'd be a metal pan that sits here, probably off this deep, and you have water in it. Do the laundry. There's yeah. three soap sinks right there. Oh. There's um, a slaughter sink right there, because Mr. Pierce had a farm, cattle farm. Mm. So, but this is where she dug and she found the garter, the bones, everything. The pens, the hair combs were all found in here. So would you presume not knowing what happened in the servants' quarters upstairs? I'm assuming and where the tunnel happened. is. That's someone didn't assume. make it. That's what I think. Okay. I mean, wow. I don't know. I wasn't here. Yeah, that I just crazy. You you can, well, this is just it. This is where we were standing. Yeah. With my dowsing rods and Josh and them were right here, and they got that stick figure jump into me right here. And Izzy was asking all the questions, Josh's girlfriend, mm -hmm. asking all the questions about the poor girl that passed and stuff, and wow. all of our lights went out. Everything went out except for the Kinect camera, oh. the SLS camera, and what? that's when it's, the stick figure stood here and then it freaking jumped right into me. <laughs> we had to take a break, and we went upstairs, and we came back down, we're all standing right there, and then that big bang happened, and it shook the house. But it, they didn't get it on audio. Mm. You could see all of us jumping and screaming, and running to windows to see if somebody banged on the back door, but oh, but it was so the camera was recording, but didn't pick up the bang. It did not pick up the bang. Every one of us jumped. So we should start the investigation down here. I think you should too. I think that when you do lights out down here, you're definitely going to feel more tense energy. Tense. All right, so we should switch to that. You know what's so funny is that when Corey and I came down here, it's like, do you feel some sort of pressure on your head? Oh, that's cool. I get to. Oh, wow. You can see my grid, right? Yeah. You can see my laser grid. Wait, what? You can see the laser grid? <clears throat> yeah, because the connect is the SLS, right? The connect is the Just shoots out a grid. How was the first time we Wow. Did it? It's not see full. Okay, okay, shut down again. Whoa. What? Whoa. Wow. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, we're just going to do that again. We're just going to shut down one more time, huh? Try it one more time. Leave him alone. Let him get it on. Here we go. Can we talk to Hope you? down here, let him get it yeah, on. not working. Wow, nothing. So down here, um, there's some a spirit that moves around and it likes to be, play around. So it will be like there and then here and then there and it likes to cause mischief. Can it's not like it? evil, but it likes it's to play. There's nothing evil in the house. <laughs> yeah. Can you see it anywhere? You just... You just feel it. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen on this. I mean, can you move like one foot to your right? <laughs> Man, I should have had a camera on my head for that. You had like two figures, right? Was it over near here? No, so like, so like, this is what it always looks like, right? It's just mm -hmm. yep. stick figures? Yeah. Where, where is someone? Someone turned. Yeah, so it always turns into stick figures, but for the first time ever, I saw what looked like the glitter. Oh. It was like blue and white, and it was just like standing there, but it wasn't mapping it. It wasn't stick figuring it. It wasn't gritting it or anything like that. It was just like some weird almost like a hundred orbs just like dancing but in the form of a figure mm -hmm. and I like actually really wish I had but was that screen recording or anything? no I just turned I mean I couldn't even get oh. it to work who's over there? that's, that's Corey and Brandon yeah, okay me. yeah that was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen hey it's working again yeah should we all introduce ourselves? yeah De most definitely 
I'll start with uh, the knock. Okay. Yeah. Hello, my name's Corey. My name is Brandon. This wood. My name is Corbin. No, my name is Elton. I messed that up. Jonah. My name is Jonah. My name is Evan. We're not able to see you, but we'd like to communicate. If any spirits or souls or anyone is down here. We saw you possibly use that K2. And you probably put your hand on it. You can see that will spike if you come up toward it and put your hand on it. We'd like to communicate with you through that. Can you make this K2 go off? I saw it literally in between. The, you're both standing right in front of me, correct? Yeah. Yep. I saw it right between you, and as Corbin walked in front of this, it, yes. it, it went away. Sorry, yeah, I feel it behind me. Are you watching us? Are you scared to come talk to us? Which way? Where, where are you standing that right way. now? Show me where you're standing, please. Where are you standing? straight go towards Elton. I'm going to use you as my my friend, okay, Elton? Uh-huh. Okay, you're standing over there by the stairs. Do it again. K2's going off. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Where are you standing? Show me where you're standing, please. I like not telling you guys anything that I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it likes to play games. It's fun to, it's it's fun right to see here. these things match up. What is that? What? Oh, okay, okay. I you okay. Yeah, I feel are you standing behind me or next to me? Oh, can you shut off? Are you standing behind me or yes? Oh, we'll stop again. Show me my yes first of all. Show these guys what my yes is. Okay, go straight. Go straight, please. What's my no answer? Show them what my no answer is. Okay, so open is yes. Okay. Okay. Are you talking to us? K2. K2's going off. This is really cool on my end right now. Are you standing right next to us right now? K2. Yeah. This one off again? So you can see that that K2's going off every time you answer our question. Do you think you could put a little bit more energy in and maybe stand a little bit closer so you can talk to us? This is so cool on my end right now. What the hell is it? Uh... <laughs> no, this is r ridiculous to watch. Elton does this thing where he doesn't tell you anything that he's saying, he just says This makes no ridiculous. sense other than the sense it makes. I just watched it crawl out of the oven. All the way out, like out over the edge of it, and now it's slowly crawling down towards you. Were you burnt in the kiln? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that happened to you. Could you show us how strong you are, how much energy you have? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone? I watched it just like, honestly latch onto you and then disappear. Mm, great. Mm. Yeah, it's gone. Now it's just all of us again. There's nothing else It'll on here back. besides us. It'll be back. Go straight. It'll be back. I got these ones. You like Marion, huh? You can't come home with me. Yeah, I'm sleeping at her house. You cannot go home with her or me. No. And it's recording. Is there anyone down here with us? Can you tell us your name? There is anyone in this house, or any cats, animals, anyone of a different realm or different world, you are absolutely invited to join us, not only in the basement where we are, but anywhere in the house for the rest of the night. 
But if you could, we'd love for you to come and give us a sign down here. Any creaking, knocking, or speaking that we might hear in our recorder would be sincerely appreciated. Anyone who's shy, just remember we're not here to hurt you. We would just like to talk. It's a mean lion. Very lion. He likes him to watch this. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should go into the other side of the basement. I will follow the leaves. Do it that way. Anyone who's shy, just remember we're not here to hurt you. We would just like to talk. Okay, I'm not crazy. Is there any form of a breeze down here in any? No, there's nothing. There's involved. nothing, right? Okay, when we crank this audio later, when it's in the video, yeah, it's gonna sound bizarre. All right, let's go to the other room. room. Well, do you want to know what I heard? What? Probably three seconds after you press record, I heard a... Hello? We're all here, right? Yeah, Hello. what the... Huh. Is that you? Over in the other part of the basement? You just tried to say something to us? So I couldn't hear you. And I apologize, but perhaps you can say it again. Your stomach just growled and it really sounded like core. Right. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 I feel like one of you should film, like keep the camera over there because hmm? they're watching us over here. You think they're watching us over there? Mm-hmm. So, Are you watching us from over here? You can come in and talk to us. You can use noises to talk to us. She feels like you're going to make a big noise, and we would love that. That's going on. Is that going off, or is that something not going on? I've never seen a K2 like that, so it's that. It's very, very sensitive. Oh, okay. That's kind oh. of its like idle position. Okay. I've only seen the block. Yeah. I also heard that you might be making a big sound. Sick. You alright, Alton? Is that Alton? 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 Okay. It's all of it. It sounds great. Uh, 
got it all on camera. You're all set. All right. Good. Let's go. Songs you sound like you know me. Let's go upstairs, shall we? Yeah, let's get you upstairs. Hey. Now, let's yeah. go outside. Let's go outside. Oh. Okay. Upstairs. Go. Okay. Let's go around you. Okay. That flashing I was on the just window? Say, did you see the flash? Yeah. Whoa, that was big. Look at the window. Watch. You see that? Oh no. Wasn't this charged? It feels like there's something like from here to here. Just something inside. Just, yeah. just like out of nowhere, just like a solid brick of something. Just like literally from here to here. Is that you? Flashing in the window? Yeah, there's nothing with your eyes. I went back over to the, the oven area. I forget what it's called. It's yeah, the kiln. I the went kiln. back over to the kiln to see if what I caught on the SLS that I saw crawled out was still there. I didn't get anything, and then I was leaving the room to go follow Jonah and set the camera down. Yeah. And then immediately I just felt awful. It just actually feels like there's something like in my lungs now. It just yeah. out of nowhere just filled it up. Keep breathing, that's just gonna get it out. I guess my softness. Any, anything that you can breathe out is going to get it out. <laughs> no. We heard you. It's I'm, not, I'm not, it's, yeah. it's not like. It doesn't matter, something's attached. It's not like throw up, it feels like I'm like smoke just like oh. clogging my throat. And here I am smoking out. Oh, I see what Elton was talking about. What? Look at all, there's hundreds of orbs on the window. Look at all of them. Do you see them? Is that, oh, is that really? I'm staging you. That's what it already felt like. Oh, really? Yeah, That's why no, I was wondering. Prior. That's why yeah. I was wondering if you, do you usually feel things? Not really, I'm, I'm normally the last one to ever admit anything. No, but like, do you feel people's like, emo like baggage, emotions? No, you, I, you I have feel absolutely things? no empathy at all. No. No, look at all the blue orbs oh. on the window. You can see it going crazy up there. All right, let's do this. You feel better? Yeah. Outside the sage, the white light. All right, actually, I'm gonna wipe my hand out. Yeah, that's a good idea. I literally just got touched. Swear to God. What? Swear How? to God. I, I, I seriously thought like one of you guys was behind me just messing <laughs> with me. That's my hand. You good? Welcome to my car. Yeah, it's just like a little bit wow. left. Like, like it's right like here. Literally right on my ass. Yeah, it literally just went like across my ass. Do you want to stage it? Yeah. Huh. Oh, I feel like you can do a deeper voice now. Now that I have Your voice is weak, young one. Great. <laughs> can you make the ball light up? Yes, it's the cushion. What's that sound? Water. You just have to touch it like you did last time. What was that? Music box. Oh, it was, yeah. Down but, here? Yep. Because yeah. Not, something went off. Yeah, yeah, it was so. the same time John moved, so I, I don't... No. No, yeah. it's not me. Just no. weird coincidence. Which way is the music box facing right now? The door. Oh. I feel like it was Rachel. Rachel, you like the music box? I'm gonna touch this ball so I can show you how to do it again. Mm. I heard that. I heard that as well. Yeah, there's footsteps. There. Heavy footsteps. I can see in the hall over there. Ellen, you can bring the kids to touch the ball. You can come too. Lots of toys. Many, many toys. I uh, I keep hearing creaking on the bed right next to me. Could you maybe make the music box go off or touch the cat ball on the floor and make it light up so that we know you are in here with us? Can you hear the beats again? Where are the beats coming from? No, it's like fingers. It's over here. Are you over here? Yeah, it sounds like those little plastic beads hitting each other. 
You playing with some beads? You don't have to stop. You just want to know where you are. Mm. Oh. You're bad. Music box. Did you drain our SLS camera? I'm hiding with someone else. Yeah. So I don't think the little girls were doing that. I hope not. No, they don't. They don't like the shiny twins. <laughs> if you stand in front of it, it'll play for longer. You don't just have to poke out through the doorway. The closer you walk to it, the more it'll play. Should we go to the floor? Yeah, I think you guys should go to the floor. Yeah, I heard stuff too. Let's go to the billiards room. Like something, like Let's kind of like thunder, but it's not thunder. Bed. Pull the portal. Oh yeah, are you getting this? Was it recording? Yeah. You can still play with us. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just coming in, but I'm going back out. But it's really cool that you're playing with us. What is your favorite toy? Lost on even? Oh, there you go. Now you got the music going. You like the music? What was that? What was that? That's the spirit box music. Sorry for the loud sound. There's a spirit box over there. You don't gotta be scared by that, it's okay. It's just a radio. We know you like to play with this music box. Can you, uh, can you move any of your other toys? What other toys do you like to, to play with? We have a bunch of balls over here. Yeah, could you maybe light up one of the balls on the floor next to the car? Is that tough? Is it hard? You like the music? Are you? This hasn't. No, no, this, this thing has been going. Hey, it, this is like, this has been going on for probably two minutes straight. All right, I'll be back. Okay. It's only me and Joan in here now. I'm gonna be on the second floor. You're gonna go back down the second floor? Yeah, because no one's been there yet. Okay, I'm gonna walk around. You're just gonna walk around the second floor? Yep. <coughs> Have fun. Oh, we're staying here by ourselves. Just a reminder, we are aware of all the horrific and terrible things that have been done up here. So, <laughs> you know. Hey, thank you for reminding us. They're, these are just other gentlemen. You can talk to them like gentlemen, you know? Yeah. They'll keep your secrets. I always like to give my friends a little fair bump after. All right. Well, we know that a lot of awful, awful things happen in this closet here. I want to talk to somebody about it. Is there anybody here with us that wants to see? What was that? Do you want to play a game? Do you maybe want to play with the cars? Or play with the ball on the floor? Could you come over here? Where the cars are, and maybe light up the cap off. Okay, I want to try something because I want to make sure that we're talking to you. Okay. Oh my god, dude! Everything is on. I'm on edge right now. That's scary. I'm never scared. Do you feel powerful? Yeah. Yeah, well you probably are. 
you probably were pretty powerful. Do you, do you regret the things that you've done in this room? Okay. If you want to play a game, can you make the music box start up again? We are right below them. Yeah. Is there a bigger ball on the floor? Yeah. I swear I just saw it roll. Are you serious? I swear I just saw it roll. Was that you? Were you pushing the big ball? No, that wasn't you? You don't have to feel bad. What else could the pot? There's no like. Oh my god. Your shadow? My Your shadow. shadow. Alright. Alright, let's go. Song ended. If you are a girl, could you make the music box go off for about five seconds? 
If you're a boy, can you make the music box go off for about 10 seconds? And I'll count with you, okay? We can count together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have we been taken advantage of? I don't quite remember what happened in here, do you? Uh, this is where his second wife died. Mm. Oh, yeah, the two women. Yeah. Anyone from the Pierce family? I'm still here. I know that some of you passed away in this house. It was your final resting place. Did you hear that? Again. Both times it's happened is right as the song has stopped. Put it back on. It's as if they get mad every time we stop the song. I feel like the room's empty now. Yeah, I don't get like, it. I don't get it. I completely, like for probably like 10 minutes that I was going on, I was like, okay. I definitely feel like we're communicating mm -hmm. with something. I know. But now I feel like they left. I know, it's weird. I wonder if we could go to a different room maybe? Okay, I'm gonna play the song one more time. You seem to be entirely happy when we play it. But as soon as it stops, you give us a sign. We should start it again. We'll try one more time. Go through this picture book. Perhaps if you can see through walls, perhaps I'll make it even easier. Is there anyone or anything down here with us? If there is, could you maybe come into this room? You can make the music box go off by standing in front of it. It'll start playing music. We also have a cat ball behind me. Does it make you uncomfortable that he's in there? Okay. What was that? I need that. I heard a towel here. <laughs> I sit here and go through this book. Perhaps when I land on your picture, you can let me know. Whoa. What? What? Dude, a flashlight just like shined in that room. Like on the ceiling. Really? I swear. 
I swear. Like, you know, like, off of that, like, I literally saw it light up in the corner and then turn off. Like, I was thinking that it was, like, a, what like a f uh, what's it called? Like a security light or something, you uh, know what I mean? Yeah, there's none of those down here. Can you say anything really clear? <laughs> Can you see us? You can talk to us with taps. How about this? You tap once to say yes, and you tap twice for no. No. Are we speaking to somebody? Talking to. Oh. No. All right. That REM pod would be incredibly difficult to activate. There's a lot of people here, but I'm hoping I get to you. Are you not communicating with us because you don't know us? Do you only like to talk to people that you know? Question, did you guys move that at any point? What? That portal? No. You guys drag anything around at all up here? No. Close the closet door, slam anything? No, no like I sat there. 100%. He sat in there. I sat in there. Did, did you sit down in my car? No. no. Like the closest thing I could say it sounded like without having anything. Actually, Evan, we might have been perfectly underneath in the hallway right here. Yeah. And it would have sounded like... No. No, absolutely nothing like that. There's no possible way that that was us. You never heard the music? No. Oh, no. You heard the music on our So that means we heard something in the walls or in the floor. Yeah. We, this was loud. Well, how did you hear the music on that record player? Record player on the whole time. Oh, really? You know what's really bizarre? So maybe it is completely unrelated. The only time we ever heard anything was the second the song would stop playing. No. Huh. The second the music would stop, we'd hear like a boom, and then the other time we'd hear like doors creaking, because every single time the music stopped. We talked about how his bedroom was directly under here to not hear things, and the fact that we couldn't hear them, like, it was just... I mean, you know all the awful things that happened here. Yeah. And we couldn't hear each other. Sitting in the closet. Oh, I built it that way on purpose. But that's gotta be awful. That record player is only so loud that you can barely hear me in the bedroom. Yeah. So what if we hopped on one of the pianos? Yeah. Play something loud enough for enough of the house to hear the basement and the second floor. Yeah, yeah. Play for a little bit. Stop. Stop and see what happens. Yeah. And we have a pretty big penis. The biggest penis there is, I think. Let's get us. Let's get out of existence. So did you get anything? Sort of. So the only thing is that we, Evan and I both like alertly jumped. Why? Because we were walking the hall mm -hmm. and heard what we thought was like furniture being dragged across. I first thought maybe they were scooting on the floor or moving the portal, but it was like loud enough where it felt like possibly even like nails dragging on the floor. But the yeah. weird part for us was that it ha we were playing the record player and it happened exactly when the music stopped. And then later again we played music, and exactly when the music stopped, we heard creaking in one of the closets. 
Okay. And the only time we ever heard anything was when we played the music and then the music would stop. You know, it's kind of weird. Hmm. So one, we heard what sounded like something crawling on the walls or in the ceiling mm -hmm. with nails. And you were on the third floor. Yeah. And I was on the second floor. As we're just sitting there. So you're in the basement. Right? Your floor might no, 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 we just went to the basement probably 10 minutes ago. They oh, came down while I was You heard there. it up there. On the third floor. Oh. And when you left, mm -hmm. was, we never heard it again. When you, right. when you were upstairs is when we still heard it. That we left because everything completely stopped. They left the room. They stopped communicating with us completely. And we never heard we had that same issue on the third floor too, that like we weren't getting much up there. Oh. Bit, so we were like, oh. You yeah. know how this didn't go off at all? Yeah. yeah. It went off for probably 10 minutes straight. What? Uh, Where? In your vice house. In the third, yeah, in the little kids room. So here's the idea. Okay. We haven't done this actually since Myrtle's, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been weeks. That's a yeah. long, That's a pretty long time. So it's been weeks, yeah. and it's something that Patty first taught us, mm -hmm. and it worked tremendously well. Mm -hmm. Open the veil. Yep. Opening the veil, but just here's the thing: we played music. Yeah. And as soon as we stopped, we heard something. Yeah. So when we played music, and then we stopped. Yeah. And perhaps something will either come join us or get frustrated that we've stopped. Because yeah. how often is that piano getting played when the bench says don't sit on it? Yep. The piano there. The piano would bring people like it, it, what if this was like the heyday, it would bring people in here. Right. Mm -hmm. So that would just make sense. So just like Merle's, perhaps we can all walk around. Okay. And let you know. Or should we ask them to join us? Yeah, definitely. Show That's something good. that we know. Definitely. That's a good idea. So although it might seem like we're a bunch of amateur dill holes. Dill holes. What is so we were taught something by Patty that we've done a few times and every single time we've ever done it. Yeah. It's actually been remarkable what's happened. Okay. So to the cliff note it, vowels are essentially meant to be an opening, an invitation. Okay. Okay. Maybe the vowel when you say it is an opening. So she taught us essentially like a chant. It's meant to kind of open up and let spirits be welcomed. And what we've learned is that we all do it together and we kind of cover the whole area. It tends to create a little bit of a activity. Space. Your count, Brandon, count it. It's okay.
different song. That ball on the table. Touch it. So you do like the song. Would you like him to play a different song? Did you just leave? Well, obviously you didn't just leave if you just touched that. Because it just completely stopped playing music. That's and we're true. like, is that Morse code? Boom, 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 boom. It looked like I wonder it. if it like fell out goodbye. Oh, that would be insane. You know? Thank you so much for talking with us tonight, communicating with us. Thank you. We're glad you like the music. We're gonna have to leave, so don't attach yourself onto us and do not follow us. But we might come back. You can follow us to our hotel. And on Instagram. Marion and Kayla, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much. Oh, Seriously. I'm sorry you were late. <laughs> no. I don't know, you could have more time. It's yeah. alright. Well, now we know what we're in store for next time. Yeah. yeah. Next time I'll bring a peek back. Yeah, man, I haven't seen that really. I that I've never seen that. Fun fact, I fell asleep over there. What? what? On the floor. What? Yeah, I was asleep for, I don't know, a good amount of time, I think. Really? So I woke up and then the GoPro was gone, so. Obviously, a few minutes at least. Really? Wow. Yeah. What's yeah. your next place? Waverly Hills. Oh, Waverly Hills. Oh, Waverly Hills. Wow, that's the next one. Waverly Hills, then Bobby Mackey's, and then the Old yeah. Licking County Jail. That's cool. Well, thank you, all our viewers, for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, see you guys at Waverly Hills, although that might be on TFL. Oh, boy. All right. And we might be in Waverly Hills for 48 hours now. What? Huh? Mm, what did you, you just say? Bye guys. 48 hours? Maybe. Maybe.